As technology and counterfeiting techniques have advanced, so too have the individual efforts of countries to foolproof their money with things like serial numbers and watermarks. But I'm not going to talk about those obvious features. This video will show you other hidden security features of your money that you probably aren't aware of. Amazing! Number 10. Urion Constellation Otherwise known as Omron Rings or Donuts, this security protocol consists of five small rings printed in contrasting inks, which depict the pattern of the Orion constellation. These designs are often repeated many times in different configurations, and can be predominantly seen on many Euro banknotes, hence the portmanteau Orion. When a counterfeiter attempts to scan or photocopy said bills, these patterns are recognised by software, and prevents hardware from printing them. This is one of the more secretive security functions in existence, as the exact technical details and its inventors have been kept secret, though there is evidence that it might have been developed by the Japanese-owned Omron Corporation. Here's just a few places you'll find this. It's on 10 and 20 pound notes, and on American $20 bills, as well as on the $2 bill from Singapore, and on the back of $20 Canadian bills. Number 9. Microprinting Another useful security precaution, this technique involves, well as the name suggests, printing designs at a near microscopic level. The idea being that the smaller the characters, the harder it would be for all but the most advanced printers and scanners to duplicate, and invariably result in blurry or distorted text. Microtext, as it is commonly called, is so small that only specifically designed printers are able to pull it off, and tend to use a special ink called MICR, or Magnetic Ink Character Recognition. A good example of microprinting can be seen on the American $20 bill, in the lower left border as it reads, United States of America 20, USA 20, and inside the inner ring of the zero that reads USA. Number 8. Embossing Indentation Just to throw a monkey wrench in the plans of potential counterfeiters, many mints also like to include embossing in the production of their bills, especially for higher denominations. Embossing, or its opposite, debossing, involves creating a relief pattern that stands out physically from its background and can be easily identified by feeling for bumps or raised surfaces. Normally, this takes the form of Itaglio printing, which involves a metallic plate being pressed into the substrate of a bill with the desired text or design, while exposed to a high enough temperature to make the relief permanent without damaging the bill itself. The effect is a note that doesn't feel entirely flat and may be bumpy, and is quite often on Euro bills, like the 5 Euro, which has an embossed main image and large value numeral, as well as raised lines on the left and right side. Canadian currency actually has its own system of raised dots on the upper right hand corner of bills similar to braille and on the other side of the world in catering to the visually impaired. India also followed suit in 2015 by issuing new bills with blind friendly raised marks indicating their denomination. Number 7. Substrate Yes, even the so called paper used to print money is a security feature in and of itself. I say so called since many bills are in fact printed on something that more closely resembles the clothes you're wearing. For example, the material the Federal Reserve uses for their money, known as rag paper, is made up of three-fourths cotton and one-fourth linen, and is more durable than conventional paper. As a result of the printing process, which subjects notes to many thousands of pounds of pressure, it also contributes to a crisp texture that can't be achieved by simple run-of-the-mill paper. If you find yourself in possession of a note that doesn't feel quite right, there are counterfeit pens available that you can purchase, which carry a substance that contains iodine, which, when exposed to cellulose, the primary ingredient of normal paper, will turn a dark blue, indicating a fake. A number of countries, including Canada, Australia, the UK and Malaysia, have recently adopted a synthetic polymer instead, which feels like plastic and is waterproof, and, more importantly, even harder to fabricate. These plastic polymers are also more durable and cleaner than conventional paper notes. Number 6. Colour Shifting Inks Almost all modern currencies also implement colour shifting ink in the printing of their money. Also called optically variable ink, it's designed to refract light at different frequencies, depending on which angle it is viewed from, 
On the American $50 bill, for example, the number 50 switches between copper or bright green depending on how you tilt the bill to the eye. The same can be viewed on the bottom of the $20 bill, where color shifting metallic flecks in the ink produce a gold green contrast, while the eagle and shield image has been embossed with sparkly ink. For counterfeiters, the problem is twofold. First, conventional name brand scanners and printers can only produce text and designs at a fixed angle. And second, there are only a handful of companies who are permitted to manufacture the special ink required. However, this wasn't a problem for Canadian counterfeiter Frank Barassa, who managed to forge nearly $250 million in American bills by relying on a cheap foil to mimic color shifting ink. Number 5. Red and Blue Fibers Since 1879, a single company, Crane & Co, has been responsible for producing the rag paper which American money is printed on. As we've already seen, the makeup of the rag paper substrate is already quite difficult to manufacture. But in order to make counterfeiting even harder, all bills also have tiny near microscopic blue and red fibers. Yes, that's right. Your greenbacks aren't entirely green after all. These randomized patriotic squiggles are actually added during the initial processing phase of the paper and are therefore embedded in the bill. Many counterfeiters attempt to mimic these by inking them in with very fine red and blue pens. But even to the unaided eye, a phony bill can usually be identified because of the reflection, indentation and thickness that the ink creates. Number 4. Planchettes Another clever security feature that occurs during the manufacturing process is the inclusion of planchettes. You've probably noticed these on bills and not given them a second thought, but they're almost as difficult to reproduce as red and blue fibers, and they appear in a number of different currencies, including Canadian money. Essentially, they are small, randomly placed circular dots, and are luminescent and will glow when exposed to UV light. Because they're added to the pulp during the paper making process, in many cases they can be picked off. Conversely, on counterfeit bills, they are often printed on, and attempting to remove them will only scratch the bill. Number 3. Chop Marks These are an older anti-counterfeiting technique, which became popular in China during its expansion in the 1700s, but they still show up occasionally on other contemporary currencies. They often appear as nicks or cuts on coins, to ensure they weren't plated fakes. But in other cases, they are stamps or punches that helped vendors or banks to easily verify that a bill or coin was indeed genuine. A money changer or bank would have its own unique stamp or punch, often a secret symbol. Later, if they encountered currency with the same mark, they would know it was one they had originally marked as not a counterfeit. While this practice has mostly fallen out of favor, examples of chop marks still show up on American bills occasionally, especially if you happen to have been traveling in foreign countries where they use the same currency. Number two, transparent window. With a number of countries switching to money made of polymer, one prominent security feature is the presence of transparent windows in bills, and these are nearly irreproducible. This is basically an advanced modern take on the watermarks you see on paper money. On the Canadian $20 bill, for example, there is a semi-transparent window with a metallic picture of the Queen, as well as transparent maple leaves. And on the $100 bill, similar transparent windows contain a hidden image that matches the portrait. Lastly, all new bills also feature a small window that, when viewed up close against a background light source, produces a hidden number that matches the denomination. All of this taken into account makes it much easier for banks and vendors to see through potential fakes. Number 1. Color Optic Technology Although not yet on the market, this is a security feature that will hopefully appear on currency in the near future, and was too cool not to include. You have to give kudos to the natural world for this idea. Color Optic, developed at Simon Fraser University in Canada, is a new anti-counterfeiting measure that borrows from the blue morpho butterfly. This insect is famous for the beautiful three-dimensional iridescence of its wings, but that stunning color isn't reproduced by pigments. Rather, the wings themselves have millions of tiny holes in them which trap light and then reflect back a specific frequency. In this case, the shorter wavelength blue spectrum. 
When held up to a direct source of light like the sun, the blue Morpho's wings actually appear as almost transparent. Color Optic is attempting to do the same thing by creating strips that have millions of holes punched into them that are only 100 nanometers wide. These strips could then be applied to banknotes and bills and would be virtually impossible to forge. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, then please remember to subscribe by clicking that button below. It will help you keep notified so you don't miss out on any more interesting knowledge. Thanks for watching.